one of the things I have that is very difficult for me to accept from the leaders is when they always echo the same thing that indigenous people need to maintain their culture because it is not something that modern society would accept especially the way they treat women and children in indigenous communities i'm going to use this as an example now this is a traditional bow that they use for hunting right now for the indigenous people it's probably one of the best hunting weapons to have you have that and a spear and that's basically it or through rocks in modern society the weapon of choice for hunting would be a rifle rifles shotguns handguns those things are really one of the best hunting tools to have modern society leaders who are telling the indigenous people that they need to maintain the culture basically telling them don't use guns use these stick with your culture that is basically what leaders are saying the leaders who are part of indigenous culture don't know any better and i'll tell you why if they don't know the effectiveness of a rifle they would think that this is still better because they don't know now this is why i'm using this as an analogy because if you don't know about the modern lifestyle then you would think that what you have in an indigenous culture is the best thing in the world and that is why for me i do not agree with what these leaders are doing they are not using the understanding or the knowledge that is of modern society and with the indigenous culture now what would i do if i had to maintain indigenous people's culture as well as get them to be more modernized i would train them to use this this is a compromise now if you don't know what this is this is a compound bow you need skills to use it but it is it is by far more accurate than a traditional bow it is more powerful than a traditional bow as a matter of fact when i was interviewing one of the hunters here i asked him if it was possible for them to take down a bush cow with a traditional bow and they say that is nearly impossible to do the hide of the bush cow is so thick that 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 arrow we shoot from a traditional bow is probably just going to bounce off and so it is almost impossible for a traditional hunter using traditional hunting equipment hunting gear to take down such animals okay now with that in mind this is perhaps the the best upshot where you are keeping the skills of indigenous people as archers hunters because this definitely if used properly and you have to have the skill to do it you would be able to take out some of the most la the largest animals on land with it with proper proper aim maybe it's going to be a challenge with an elephant all right but i know that some people have taken down bears they're not really indigenous to this this country but if you could take down bears in north america with with bows like this it shows the effectiveness of the weapon and that is where i am if i have to learn i would want to do it with a compound bow modern society wouldn't understand certain things and traditional culture would not understand certain things and by bridging that gap things could get better I put to start tackling issues and and sub, get in some serious trouble with some of the people here if they do not have an open mind they are going to be a problem a member of parliament once threatened to throw me out of this community he came one day and just ordered me to do something and I didn't do it because he did not hear my side of the coin my side of the story and because of that well 
you see so i don't want you all to think that this is just an easy walk in the park for me you can't say things just because of what popular demand is that is the problem with modern society modern society you have to go with the rules of modern society but indigenous culture is breaking those rules are breaking those rules he is himself is breaking the rules but he don't see it that way recently this community purchased a bus whatever they do is going to determine the success of having that bus or the failure of having that bus and i'm going to address that next on the next episode i want to take the opportunity and hopefully by you guys my family especially family and friends and those of you who know my parents your used clothes benefits the the young ladies here there is a particular young girl a girl that i normally try to help her the most here they, they they say that she's my favorite she is changing though unfortunately i told them that if there's anything and you're having problems to, um, to to bring up this girl gabby that i will adopt her right but i would not keep her i would have sent her to cc or any one of you as a matter of fact right because of I mean, this girl is, is she is very special in, in my opinion. She is very talented. She wants to be educated. You know, there was a time where she came to me and she was crying. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, she wants to learn to read. Yeah. So, this is what I'm telling you. But the thing about it, why I am not pushing for anything is because she is just an example of many of the children here. Many of the children here, if given the opportunity, they will shine. 